Do you feel the need? The need for pants speed? Well, we certainly don't. But if you do, this is what happens when you drive a car at 300 miles per hour. But first, a little science lesson, nerds. Humanity's craving for speed is the very reason supercars exist. It's why the car industry has never stopped the planning and developing of better, faster vehicles. In recent years, a handful of companies, Bugatti being the official first, have finally been able to design and manufacture road-legal cars that could surpass the 300 mile per hour mark. But taking a look at the pace at which technology has been progressing through the 21st century makes a fellow wonder why it took so long to get here. Well, there are a lot of variables that exist within the 300 mile per hour formula. The 250 mile per hour barrier was surpassed almost 15 years ago, but it's not as simple as gaining an extra 50 miles per hour of speed. If you've ever driven a car at high speeds, you've probably noticed that it takes a lot more oomph to go from 100 to 150 miles an hour than to go from 50 miles an hour to 100 miles an hour. One might assume that making a car reach 300 miles per hour requires twice as much power of one that goes 150 miles an hour, but that's simply not true. If a specific vehicle is able to reach the speed of 150 miles per hour using 200 horsepower of power, it would need 1600 horsepower, eight times the previous amount, to go to 300 miles per hour. As Ron Burgundy once said, it's science. When it comes to breaking speed records, one of the biggest challenges designers and engineers face is the aerodynamics of it all. Air behaves differently at different speeds and it changes its flow, taking different routes on the bodywork as the numbers on the speedometer get higher and higher. What this means for the car is that it needs to be designed specifically to be driven at those high speeds. Get it? Got it? Good. And imagine trying to beat the world's fastest running speed record in a set of slippers. You'd be sent packing. That's why tires are muy importante. Tires are the only points of contact between the machine and the earth, making them one of the most vital parts of any performance-oriented design. And they'll let you know it every chance they get. A regular tire just doesn't have the ability to withstand the tearing force, about seven tons of it, in velocities as high as 300 miles per hour. Bugatti's approach to the tire challenge was to have a rather thick layer of carbon fiber built under the carcass of the tire, both reinforcing the tire and preventing any more added weight. Oh yeah, you'll also need power. Lots and lots of power. Okay, school's out. Time for the big record-setting day the day the 300 mile per hour barrier was broken. On August 2nd, 2019, legendary driver Andy Wallace piloted a heavily modified, pre-production version of the $3.3 million Bugatti Chiron Supersport 300 Plus down the Era Lessis track in Germany and into the record books. Unsurprisingly, the Chiron had a very special engine, among a bevy of other upgrades. The 8.0-liter quad-turbo W16 unit called Thor produced a whopping 1,578 brake horsepower. As Wallace barreled down the track, he knew that if something went wrong at that speed, it would have had severe consequences. Like, game over, man. At top speed, the Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires got subjected to 14,000 pounds of force, which is more than twice than that of a Porsche 911 at full speed, as the wheels rotated at 4,000 RPM. The speed was so insane that the car covered 136 meters in one second. Wallace told the Detroit News, Acceleration is really felt in the torso. It moves around some of your internal organs. It scrambles them, pushing them back and compressing them inside the body. Obviously, the acceleration subsides as you get close to VMAX, or maximal velocity. Um, gross. Ew! In an interview with Car and Driver, Wallace said that the Chiron was going so fast during the run that its electronic systems couldn't keep up. For a short period of time, Wallace knew that the car broke 300 miles an hour. Then speed engineers analyzed the data and confirmed it. 304.7 miles per hour. And as of the beginning of 2024, 
that record still stands. While surpassing the 300 mile per hour mark was a huge breakthrough for the car industry, we know that the next one will be coming soon. However, the further we go into the realms of speed, the harder it gets for man-made machines to go faster. We don't know about you, but if we hit the 300 mile per hour mark, we'd laugh, we'd cry, we'd fudge our undies. Luckily, we'll never have to worry about that. Thank you for watching our video from HotCars.com. Check out our website for all your automotive needs.